god! Dang. That's that's a big uh, that's a big burger there. We wanted people to go wow when they saw them. The um, Accelerator Burger, which is at Coasters, which is on a 12-inch Hawaiian bun, it's eight patties with two pounds of french fries, a pound of cheese, and enough bacon, I think, to win the Guinness World Record of enough bacon on a sandwich, which we have to actually see if that's true. I like the layers of the bacon, the cheese, and the fries, along with the patty, and the bread, really good texture. It's light enough so that it doesn't fill you up, and everything else complements each other. And then for the Proud Bird, which we serve here at Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant, which is, we're the home of the fried chicken. So we thought, well, we, we have to have the largest, tastiest sandwich around. We take our chicken, pound it out, and put it on a 12-inch bun with lettuce and, and some mayonnaise, and we put it with our really wonderful crispy fries. The chicken is delicious. It's nice and juicy. It's crunchy. It's flavorful. It's, uh, you know, got a good amount of kick to it. Um, it's, it's awesome. Oh, oh, so cute! That's... So starting with the super fun bun, um, it's basically four big cinnamon buns put together with glaze, and then we put it in our funnel batter and we deep fry it in the funnel rooms. And the sweetness of the boysenberry glaze is really good. So today marks the first day of Not Spooky Farm. It's our family-friendly daytime Halloween celebration packed with all kinds of activities for kids. Everything from trick-or-treating and then of course tons of entertainment for, for kids of all ages. So Not Spooky Farm hours are from 9 to 5. Again, it's a family-friendly daytime festival. But at 5 o'clock we start to clear out the guests. We roll in the fog. It gets a little scarier. I saw them putting their makeup on and I their costumes. It was really cool. I learned that there's actually 305 monsters that they have to do their makeup on and they do it in 20 minutes so it's very fast. That was very cool. But of course that's what Not Scary Farm is. It's a terrifying nighttime experience. Not for little ones but for the older ones who can handle the scares. I would probably never come again because it was just too scary for me. <laughs> I was personally expecting it to be not scary because the title says not scary. <laughs> so I was very surprised to see it was quite the opposite. So new at Scary Farm this year is a new maze called Mesmer. It's with a crazed hypnotist who comes and, and hypnotizes all the guests that come through and then insanity ensues. I really liked Mesmer. It was really scary. <laughs> They really get you, like they jump out and scare you, but it was so much fun. You know, if you like a good scare, I say you start off with Mesmer. Uh, additionally, we have tons of new entertainment too. We have live shows, live music, the treats, monsters, the mazes you go through can't be found anywhere else. It's basically two identical pizzas stacked on top of each other. When I pull them out of the oven, some of them feel like they're 30 pounds. Chicago is a deep dish town, but the Double Decker is a unique alternative that you can only get in the north suburbs. Bill's Pizza is a family restaurant with a North Woods atmosphere, taxidermy animals on the wall. My grandfather started it in 1957. We've been handcrafting pizzas the same way ever since. We make a lot of thin crust pizzas, but we're known for our double decker, which my grandfather started. A little more than one dough ball. Two ladles of sauce on it, a meat topping. This is our own sausage recipe. Handfuls of cheese. Then you put another layer of dough on top of that, another meat topping, and then you roll like a hand braided crust around the edge. Most people's initial reactions are just shocked at how large it is and how much pizza it is. It's a lot of cheese, but it's a lot of fun eating it. They're really filling. We're really proud of my grandfather's invention. Two layers of pizza. Unbelievable. We want everybody to eat it this weekend in Chicago.
Hi, I'd like to place an order for takeout, please. Now more than ever, it is important to patronize small businesses. And tonight, it's takeout night in my house, and we are getting pizza. The pizza, Marie's Pizza and Liquors on the northwest side of Chicago. I've been going for 15 years, but the best part, if you get delivery, they will deliver booze from the liquor store that's attached. So it's a win-win and a one-stop shop. The pizza's amazing. Let's check it out. Marie's was established in 1940. We've had a consistent take all that we've been doing pizza. And it's just so yummy. One of the pizzas that we're known for is something we call the Marie's Special. So that's sausage, mushroom, onion, and green pepper. It is not cracker crust. It is crispy, and it's something that they call in Chicago tavern style. And that's not just by the crust, but by the fact that it's cut in squares. We have always delivered uh, whatever we sell. We also deliver all the products from the liquor store. So if you need some beer, um, you need some craft beer, you need a bottle of wine, you just let us know. Your favorite vodka will deliver it for you. last 30 days the world has changed so we are adapting with it delivery carry out no contact delivery curbside carry out you can come in for your carry out business is down considerably like like everybody else however i'm so grateful for the business that we have it's overwhelmingly um touching and I cry every day. I, I cry over how kind people are and they want us to be successful. You have to support small businesses because small business is the fabric of our country. And if small businesses evaporate, we will be at a loss. They have a pickup for Matt. Here you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy. Appreciate the support. Appreciate you guys. All right, we're home. We're gonna unbox this thing, so let's do it. Oh, yeah. And then what else we got here? Ooh, Greek salad. Watch out. Oh yeah, we got a cheesecake. Cheers. Cheers. Your thoughts? Is it good? The best pizza in Chicago. Agreed. Have a favorite pizza place that we need to check out? Delivery, carry out, whatever. Let us know. This one's good. a couple weeks ago opening the door on the first basil harvest and you open the front door to the building and it just smelled like basil and I was like all right you know we're in production. Gotham Green started 10 years ago we're a Brooklyn based company moved to Chicago we started here in 2015 this is our second location here in the Pullman neighborhood now and we are expanding nationwide. This is 100,000 square feet here of all different kinds of lettuce and basil. Growing indoors in a controlled environment, we're really able to conserve our natural resources. This farm here, we can use 95% less water as compared to conventional agriculture and about 97% less land. There's a couple great things about the Pullman neighborhood. One is, you know, it's a great place in the city to be able to get, you know, a 
piece of land for 100,000 square feet, like the size we want for a greenhouse, and then we can hire all from the local neighborhood. So Transplant involves really looking at the plants, making sure that there's no disease on the plants, um, using the best quality. We have about doubled in size over maybe the last six months, and we've gone from about 150 to 300 employees. Basil likes it warmer, it likes it sunnier. Lettuce is more of a cool season crop, and basil is a hot season crop. Everything is automated here, you know, so there is a computer control system that we program to control everything. We have sensors everywhere in the greenhouse. We can grow these crops 365 days a year and deliver fresh produce to the city year round.